card number eight. Card number eight, the Warren Commission. The Warren Commission. Whitewash. Whitewash. Let's see if we can pick out the names here. Senator John Sherman Cooper, representative of Kentucky. John J. McLoy. Alan Polis, oh my God. J. Lee Rankin, chief counsel. Chairman Earl Warren, chief justice of the United States. Senator Richard Russell, Dem of Georgia. Representative Hale Boggs, Dem of Louisiana. Democrat of Louisiana. Representative Gerald Ford, oh my God. Uh, Representative of Michigan. Eight people. Let's look at their faces. Part number eight, the Warren Commission. On November 29, 1963, Chief Justice Earl Warren uh, tearfully accepted chairmanship of the President's Commission on the assassination of President Kennedy. At the Commission's first meeting, ex CIA Director Alan Dulles set the tone for their investigation by handing out copies of a book claiming presidential assassins are always loners having no investigatory staff of its own and forced to follow the fbi's lead the commission took uh, depositions from 552 witnesses consistently highlighting testimony that supported the lone assassin theory while important evidence such as Kennedy's autopsy x-rays were not included in the report, dental x-rays of Jack Ruby's mother's teeth were. In September 1964, the commission concluded that both Oswald and Ruby were lone assassins. This fixation with uh, squelching rumors of conspiracy resulted in the commission's in during magic bullet theory knowing that oswald could not have fired four times in the allotted time span and having to account for kennedy's head wound as well as a bystander's injuries the commission contradicted its own ballistic experts by concluding that exhibit 399 a bullet found on a stretcher at parkland hospital in near pristine condition had entered Kennedy's upper back, exited his neck, and gone on to break Dallas uh, to break Texas Governor John uh, Conley's rib, shattered his wrist bone, and lodged in his thigh. Ironically, the Warren Commission's insistence on the lone assassin led to the periodic re-examination of evidence withheld from and suppressed by the Commission and gave rise to a legion of conspiracy theories quote involved uh, involving various shadowy figures presumed to have masterminded kennedy's murder and this right here this right here is the reason why we should never ever allow centralized censorship to control our societies because what they do 
is they suppress the truth, suppress information, discourse, and they push a narrative that is in the interest of those who are committing crimes against humanity and assassinating presidents possibly. So aside from bureaucracy being the enemy of humanity, so is censorship.